It's time for Around the Ozarks Rewind, brought to you by Kaleidoscope at the corner of Fremont and Sunshine. Here are your hosts, Woody and Janet. Hey, all right now, what are you going to get for it? Hi, everybody. This is Woody P. Snow, God's Gift of Radio, here to chase face and embrace the truth, no matter where it leads for, I believe, and I think Janet will back me up on this, yeah. we believe that the pursuit of truth is growth. And growth is the meaning of life. It's the duty of life the when you start to think life. about it, yeah. Right. And, I, I'm with you, a hundred. And if you're not growing... You're withering. You're doing one or the other. That's exactly right. I was going right. to say showing. <laughs> if you're not growing, you're showing. No, that's you. <laughs> Not all of us are why. showed. Some of us used to show. No. Anyway, that's Wait. Janet. That's Janet yeah. Lane over oh. there. Hey, and she's all dressed in white today. Am I going to a wedding or something? Or? No, I was going to the gym after this. Ah, uh, I bet. And you these just... pants um, are the I only ones in my size. Christmas. You got you got some Lululemon leggings for Christmas. You should see them. They Everybody. look. They make my they legs look like a chicken. Wow. And they make my feet look this big. Because they, everybody heard about him wearing the same pants all year, and now they're sending him pants. By the way, my wife bought me another pair of those. Uh, oh, those are so- nice. The cargos are in. She felt sorry for I would not, my... I would not wear Lulu's stretch pants, though, if I were you. I mean, you well, can. I got them as a Christmas gift. I mean, they're, They're you great know. for hot yoga. And I'm one just of saying. them says U.S. Army on it. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I can't wait to see you in those. All right, a couple of things we need to talk about. Now, once I got in trouble, you remember a store called Service Merchandise? Oh, gosh, I loved Service Merchandise. Well, I heard they were going to shut down. And I said what? so on the radio. Oh, and oh, boy, you're talking did They get angry. They did? Yeah, but didn't they shut down like two weeks oh. later? Oh. Oh. I was ahead of the time, but they were they were going to sue we me. We're not shut lot. down. We're not shut down. We knew we do that a lot. We hear things before it happens, and then yeah. we'll say it, and then it does happen, but we get in trouble for it. That's, That's right. That has happened a lot. But service merchandise. So I'm not. Yeah. Oh, I loved it when your stuff would be coming down the roller. Yeah, and you thought, is that mine coming? Is that, is that mine? Is that mine? Coming? I got my first curling iron. Like oh, that. really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a couple of things. Not a curling iron. You didn't. No, I didn't need a curling iron. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to, I got to be real careful how I handle this whole hand story. Oh, that's already out. Oh, it is? Yes. I saw it on the news last night. You saw it on Facebook? No. Yeah. On the news? I saw it on the news. Speaking of the news, Houlihan, Kiss Bar and Grill, Ebbets Field. Yes. And that uh, Baster's place, the barbecue place. What, what get, bar and grill? Get Basted. Ebbets Field. It's closed. Kiss it, it, Bar and Grill is closed. Uh-huh. What Bar and Grill? Kiss Bar and Grill. Kiss. Oh. But they're having one last big hoorah. That's it. We had it. He was the oh, vast. that's right. He was I the was, last. That was New Year's down. Eve. He I shut it down. Shut it down. Me and 200 Screaming Girls. Nice. That's amazing. Okay, speaking of local news. Yes. How is it that Brandon Beck is on every single local news channel? What do you mean? Turn on Channel 3. There's Brandon Beck. He works there. Turn on Channel 27, there's Brandon Beck. Aren't they Turn affiliated? Turn on Channel 33, there's Brandon Beck. I don't even what? get Channel I don't get channel 10, so I don't know. Well, He's the, on uh, all those channels. Kway 3 is affiliated with uh, one NBC. of them. I don't know. But, K, but uh, Doesn't Channel Doesn't he do a fine or, job? Maybe he's the most accurate weatherman. He's is. the most oh. personable and fun and yeah. pure-hearted guy, you know, that 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 well, you probably know some things that I don't. No, no. But I re- I remember he and did. on line three, Brandon Beck. <laughs> hey, Brandon. <laughs> I remember he used to take off between his gigs at KY three and come over to the radio station just to see you. You know, he came to see us. Yeah. Yes. I found a real He's good really picture good. of the three of us. Yes, I have that in the parking lot at the typewriter toss. Yeah. I have that picture also. He's But he's, he's on a sweet. lot of he's channels. Good. He's good. Let's go he, to the phones and see if we, see what oh, we can find out. Oh, I miss out. the phones. I Man, do. Man, how can we do how can we oh, how can we do that? Okay, another thing I'm uh on your mind concerned about. So Hulahan's but Hulahan's North is 
staying open, right? It's actually really nice down there. They've redone that whole area, that hotel. Really? Yeah, it's, it's really nice. On the south side? On the north side. Oh, on the Yeah, they were doing a really good job down there, yeah. I have some friends well, that love going there. What happened to on uh, Republic Road? I I don't know. Just prices going th- too high. For, I've only uh, been there. I don't. I had only. The story was mysterious because it said shutting down immediately or something. Yes. Like, I, I, like wasn't like hey we're gonna close. And on the news it showed the some workers almost looking, you know, stunned. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk it was about very Diggins. nice. Talk about what? Diggins. Diggins. Diggins, Missouri. Okay. It's a town between Fordland and, uh, why do I always want to say Quincy, and um, I'm not Seymour. Real, I'm not real familiar with it, but go ahead. Well, you're going to be familiar with okay. it. Okay. They're, they're going to become a sanctuary city. What? So there'll be a lot of new people That's around. That's right your way, Woody. Yeah. Real? Are, you're joking. Look up Diggins, Missouri, would you? All I right. knew they were going to Texas, and they're going... Where else? Apparently, they want to come to Diggins. Diggins, Missouri. Diggins, village in Missouri. This is just a village. It's a village? That's not where um, Heidi Heidi Fleiss is moving, is it? What? Heidi Fleiss has bought a bird sanctuary out by Laura Ingalls Wilder's place. Where's that? Well, anyway, I'm just the spreading that rumor. We're talking about, then? Different story. Now, I was thinking about what does it say? Diggins is a village. Yes. And it's going to become a sanctuary village? Named after Mr. Diggins, a railroad official. Uh huh. You Cy said was, railroad. I did slur that one. <laughs> Site was previously known as Cutthroat, Stella, and Livingston. But now it's Diggins. Stella! Diggins, the sanctuary village. Population 299 people. Now. Uh, now, yeah. You wait just for wait. A month wait from for now. it. Now, are are you that a of... real story? <laughs> I can't ever tell with you. <laughs> you know, people have told me that all my life. You I can't it. tell when you're serious or when you're fooling around. You have a pokey face. <laughs> okay, so, a what? A pokey face? I was thinking about uh, the election. I think uh, Donald Trump is going to be reelected. Uh, I don't know. It, let's, let's wait till Epstein's, I know Jay thinks they're Epstein's never gonna list let it happen. comes they're out. Never gonna I don't let him think do they're going to let it happen either. Huh. I think they're going to. Well, they are actively trying to not let it happen. If he's on Epstein's he list, well, but no was, matter what he did, I think he's all right for being. There's a lot of people on that list, and some yeah. of them flew with their families. Some of them flew for bad things. Right. 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 You know? Yeah, I'm going to guess Woody Allen. You mean and the people that are com- coming Clinton? into uh, the. Some didn't go to the island. The ones that went to the island, that's oh. iffy. Some, also, but he flew on his plane. Some of them. On his flight log. Yeah, business. just being on the flight log. Yeah, some. But would you, uh, you, how do you think Bill Clinton feels being on that list 53 times? Oh, yeah. Alan Gershwitz. I, like his wife's got to be. Oh. Or yeah. oh, I bet his wife's gone. Oh, and Clinton more had than one. record of. of he liked the girls. He liked yeah. them young. That's what they keep quoting. He was a musician. Yes. That's what musicians do. Yeah. Young, He's young. probably just playing the saxophone. Uh-huh. All right. So mm. now let's talk about RFK, Robert F. Kennedy. He's on that list. Yeah, he flew with his family, yeah. On his oh, plane. Wow. And I'm thinking Is it a anybody, beautiful island? Not to the island. He flew on the plane. Okay. Like nice private jet or whatever. What would you... Anybody what? whose dad slept with Marilyn Monroe... Yeah, yeah his uncle... Oh, and his dad. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What, what? Has got to have something on the ball. You Has think? To. Hey, I don't know if you've read much about Marilyn or seen many movies, but um, what you're about saying her? you had to be special to be with her. Not so much. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, it she was really was a, a sad one. story. Yeah. yeah. She liked to... People took advantage oh, of Chris, her. Oh, she's all not the here time. to defend herself, Jen, against well, your taking, spiritless I'm, allegations. I am taking up for her. I said she was taken advantage of a, a lot. Yes. It is very sad. Well, that was Hollywood very, was very different sad. back back then. Yeah, I bet it's not a whole lot different. I'm Roseanne just, Barr had the same problem. Roseanne Barr? Didn't from she? Roseanne? Yeah. She got taken advantage of? Well, sure she did. By. All the men hit by her to get well butrin or what? What was it? She said she took it made her crazy. Not well, well but- they call it well butrin and no, uh, Ambien. Ambien. 
Hey, that will make you crazy, by the way. <clears throat> okay. Dennis, Dennis Franz got taken advantage of. What do you yeah, people know Dennis Franz. About, what about Dennis Franz? Don't you, <laughs> he got taken advantage of in Hollywood, too. <laughs> yes. I hope people not. People used him. I hope not. He's a very sensitive hey, and guy. And let me say, being a female in the radio industry, yeah, that's primarily male-dominated back then, yeah. you go to those big meetings, I mean, it was... There was I some started harassment. the first sure. female disc I, jockey in Springfield. You started her? Her name is Denise Hay. She listens to our podcast. Hey, Denise. She was Jennifer Fox. Ooh, back then. that's a cool name. Oh, I like the name. Yeah. yeah. And she had a nice jingle and everything, but she was a receptionist. And then the edict came down from the FCC or whatever. You got to have women DJs. Oh, they said you have to? Yeah. Did yeah. you want to, or were you? Oh, like, she was yeah. very talented, very oh, okay. good. She went on from Springfield to Memphis, who who was... to Miami to Oklahoma City, oh, who, who and was... did very well. And married a doctor, and then gave um, it up. Who was who was who was okay, be- so... who was better? Huh? Who was? <laughs> she was very good, but she didn't have a partner what? to you know as a crutch. I, I'm I mean you know I hold you back. I know that I've held you back and. You hold me you, back? Yeah, kept you in this small from, market. What do you hold me from back going from? going on to, you know, L.A. or New York Branson. City. Branson. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Branson I if you wanted. Gone, I could have gone to Diggins. I could have gone to Branson. Diggins. Boy, that's going to change, huh? Yeah, so, I would what say. what do you guys know about no. the 1996 calendar? The 1996 calendar? Yes. Were we in it? At, um, I'm sure we were at some point. Oh, gosh. So we must have been Studebaker's. Written. Huh? Studebaker's no. calendar. I did that. It's the exact same calendar for 2024. It will work for 2024. And so, really? People are collecting them. They're start, you know, vintage nuts. Or they're 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 looking they're looking they're buying them. Yeah. And so if you have a calendar for 1996, you can hang it up for this year and the days will be the very same. Really? Ain't Is that, that the- weird? Has it happened before? I'm sure it has. Um, it must have, but they're going for between twenty and two hundred dollars. Now it's it's going to happen again. Who in, do I sell it to? In, I've got. In tw- I have a bunch. I'll give you twenty bucks for it. For one. How many? You got a bunch of nineteen ninety six. I got about. I have eleven. Nineteen ninety six calendars. Oh yeah. Why didn't you throw them out? Because I'm in it. Whoa. Oh yeah. I won't I'm sorry, I wouldn't be allowed to hang those up in my house. It was for Studebakers. I'm in some cheesy oh, that's 90s right. I remember that. outfit with Were you big wearing hair? a grass skirt? No. Well, whenever yeah. this year comes around, we can use my mom's <laughs> calendar again. My wife was in one of those. <laughs> On the motorcycle and everything. Oh, Jay, Jay. <laughs> anyway, it's going to happen again in 2052. So Ooh, if you don't I get wonder them. if I'll be around. That's in almost thirty. Years. That means you can save this year's calendar for twenty fifty-two. I'm going to keep that in mind. All right, now. Do you have a New Year's resolution that you could put on your nineteen ninety-six calendar? I now have a quick list, and then I'll turn the proceedings over to you, my mm-hmm. lovely partner Janet Lane. Thank, thank you, Woodrow. But first. Mm-hmm. I have albums that are 50 years old. Now, do you want me to give you the album title and you tell me the artist? Oh, man. What would be best, <clears throat> Jay Stevens, number one DJ in... The world. The world? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're not on... Uh, I'm glad you support Earth Radio. Earth. I hate that satellite radio. Terrestrial stuff. Earth Radio. Terrestrial yeah. Radio, yeah. No doubt. So what should I give you, the uh, artist or the name of the album? Album, I say. I, I, I think that'd probably be best. Am I not even playing? You yes, didn't yes, even yes, ask. Yes, of course you I'm are. Not, these are I, 50 years old, and 19, I'm not a musician. Janet's not even 50 yet. I, 50 years old. Didn't you come see me at a remote... Fifty years ago, yes, I did. Try to get on my show. Yes, I did. <laughs> we're not getting into that story again, man. You were mean. Okay, sheer <laughs> heart attack. What? Sheer. Oh, heart this attack. is it. That's a. That's the name of the album. Queen. Dark Horse. Oh, I know this one. Uh, George Harrison. I'm not gonna know. Heart like a wheel. Hmm. 
Linda Ronstadt. Jay? Not fragile. I would never get this one. Bachman Turner Overdrive. Oh. Diamond Dogs. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Oh, man. David Boy? Yes. Oh, oh bing, bing, you're bing, bing, good. Man. Look at I him go. Need, can I call a friend? <laughs> yeah. Get we, Brandon back uh, on the phone. If only get we, if we, only <laughs> we had a phone. <laughs> I have one here, but I think the person I need to text is working. I you were going to call them. Second helping. Leonard Skinner. Yes. Very good. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, here's here's this should be an easy one. On the border. I know it. Um, uh, Jimmy Buffett. ZZ Top. Nope. Eagles. The Eagles. That's right. The Eagles. That's right. <sighs> the Eagles. Yeah. Was it blue? Was it album was cover? Was it was it, was it blue? Right. Primarily blue. Was it blue? I, I thought it was a desert and it had like Indian with a with a skull with a, horns yeah, in the front. With a cow, yes, cow, yeah, skull. cow skull. Okay. Burn deep purple. You it's only even, rock and that roll. That was the only one I knew. The I one... know that it's only rock and roll, but, but I like it. it. Yes, I do. The Stones. The Rolling Stones. Court and Spark. Huh? Say it one again. of the great female songwriters of all time. Carly Simon. Joni Mitchell. Ah. Oh. What was once vices are now habits. Too long of a title. That's a doobie brothers. Okay, just know. a few more. Uh, the only one I Pretzel knew was the logic. one. I think I know this one. Steely Dan. Steely, Steely Dan. Dan, yes. 461 Ocean Boulevard. I wouldn't get that one. You know it? Yep. Go. Eric Clapton. Yes. I've been by that address. That house. Well, Whoa. no wonder. That's kind of cheating. I grew up there. That he went there? Wait, well. He, he went there. Nonetheless. Planet Waves. Bob Dylan. Uh-huh. And Crime of the Century. You know, Crime of the Century, that wasn't... Can, uh, can you give me a hint? Their big album was Breakfast... In America? Yeah. Super Tramp. America. Super Tramp. <clears throat> oh. Remember when the Logic song? Was when I was young. <laughs> I liked that song a lot. You got I anything? liked Super Tramp. I do, too. They're yeah. very good. And Toto, are they amazing or I what? I loved Toto. Are they still around? Still I, around. I really? Playing? With a lot of the same members still. Yeah. Wow. Wow. They were on tour with Journey last year. Who did I see that, coming to a casino that I wouldn't mind seeing? Extreme, maybe? Yep. Uh-huh. Downstream. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that wouldn't be bad. Okay. New Year's resolutions? Did you make any? Uh, No, I didn't. Didn't I except to finish my album. Mmm. You know Itchy what nipple to five? Me? I gotta tell you what happened to me. What happened to you? I was working on the album. I thought I had it all done. First of all, I got too many songs. How many songs can you have on an album? Make it a double album. The Beatles did it. Uh, I know they did, but that costs more in packaging, doesn't it? I would only put like. The White s- Album was a double album. But I think five that's or their six only... songs on one side. No? Five or. Huh? Five or six songs no, on one like, side. No, like like one CD. How many songs can you have on there? Fourteen, I think. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah, that's a lot. I was thinking either ten or twelve. I'd go low. And just pick out the cream mm. of the crop. Cream. But right, how do right. I know? Mm. Yeah, My yeah, songs yeah. are all so good. But anyway, I was listening to the CD that I had in mind with get, the itching of the other getting nipples. Getting ready to take it to the just you, Cantrell brothers. Hi, you guys. Who? Cantrell. Oh, hey. No, is this... A, are you talking about your Itchy Nibble 5 CD? Yeah, they play on it quite a bit. So were the, they there listening to this with you when you're doing this? No, I was listening to it by myself, oh. but it bored me. That was the problem with the whole album. You got bored with your own I got music? bored with it. Well, then don't put 14 of them on there. <laughs> yeah, you're you right. <laughs> that's, you know, that's, 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 that's words of wisdom. Well, I, that, that was my thinking in the beginning. Was That's a lot of... At, after... Five. Well, no, I'm like, I don't know. I've had enough of them. Sit down and listen to the whole album like I always would do. You did. I didn't. I'd buy like four or five songs and then move on. Well, you bought the whole album just to get one or two songs. No, I would buy the 45 just to get one song. How old are you? I know. 45. I have a 40 year class reunion coming up. Holy cow. I know. Wow. And I've only got to two. Are you going to go? I don't know. Of course you are. I am. When is it? 
I don't know. I just saw some things on Facebook. People are kind of talking. We walk in there together. Thorman's we go in there. Hey. Hey, we should see if I'm we can spend records for I'm married to a rock star. <laughs> oh, yeah, Woody, DJ. Give me the DJ. <laughs> for the dance. Woody will spend records. I'm bringing the, the party. No, I went to my five-year. Hey, kids. I went to my five-year reunion, and that was fun. But, you know, nobody really changes a lot in five years. You know, there were some people that change now. They're old, fat, and bald. Why don't they give up? A lot of people are gone. That's what's really boy. That makes me sad too. I'm done thinking about death, but I can't because they're dead. I know, I know. I I I decided this year I'm not going to focus on that because I on what just people getting sick and dying and you know you're thinking of me, aren't you? Last year, what? You're thinking of me and my back. No, I, but that concerns me be a deeply. Sur- surgical accident. I I just want you to be better, and I don't. And I and and you know what I was thinking. My fear is that you're going to be walking your farm, and you're going and your legs are going to go numb, and you're going to fall down in the cold, and no one's going to know where you are. That's why I try to remember to take my phone when I go walking. Yeah, you try to remember to you, take yeah, your. Yeah, you need to take the phone. Yeah. Because the yes. dogs, they'll just play on me. Yeah. They'll just run around in circles. And they go, you know. You don't you have, have good service out there where you are? Have what? Good phone service in Florida? Phone service is fine. Okay. Right. Got AT&T. Thinking about switching to consumer cellular. Well, whatever works, because I, that is concerning. Because you kind of take off by yourself and, you know, not good. Okay, I also wanted well, I to ask. with me. They'll eventually go But you back don't to the have house. a lassie. Huh? That, a lassie that will actually go get help. Woo, and no. He's in the well. Yeah, right. You know? I think he wants us to follow him. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Something's wrong a, with Woody. I think he wants a treat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Oh, this is it. This is a good question. We, I was talking about this at lunch. What makes a person instantly unattractive to you? Uh, I check out fingernails and teeth myself really yeah and just like that that can turn you off uh yeah oh well your yeah, yeah. teeth would be huh but i'm thinking uh, this I'm, is... I'm thinking about women now oh <laughs> oh, oh Not okay Dennis Franz. i assumed that but <laughs> oh okay. now that you you've now that you're clarifying it i'm a little, little concerned <laughs> i don't know right oh. right Okay, what but makes I, a man I, unattractive I to you? I also like, you know, bosomy women. But, oh, uh, oh I ha- I've always known that, yeah. yeah, yeah no. And I know what you like. I know what you like. <laughs> I don't know what have... kind of little signal you yeah, just... Yeah, what was that signal? That, with a hand, a gang it, sign she threw No, up. no, no, it was like it? like a cue. Gang. I can, if you give me a... Pe- he likes the shape, a certain shape? Yes. Woody... Woody. No, but mostly I'm I'm a person who goes for the person's mind. Oh, okay. I like a thinking woman. Mm-hmm. That's it. You that's just... why. But, but that's why I'm afraid my wife is losing her fastball. Why do you keep saying that? I see. Her, I saw where she commented it commented on some of the things you posted about your back on Facebook, and she said she's totally on the ball. Yeah, I don't know. Because she made one comment about your dogs. You think she's lost her fastball? I don't know what you're talking about. You said on the podcast last week you thought your wife was losing her fastball because she mentioned something about, well, you know the dogs don't the dog have hands. keep his pants on. Oh, yeah, keep his pants on. He was like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I go, hey, dog, keep your pants on, would you? Mm-hmm. I'm hurrying. Honey, he doesn't have pants. <laughs> what? He doesn't have pants. Oh, well, thank you, Jackie. <laughs> maybe she That's was. Funny. Maybe she was worried about you. What do you think? You were losing your mind. Yeah. You, you were losing your fastball. And she Did you to... get mad at her? I can see you getting mad at her. <laughs> No. What do you mean? But I played a song for her yesterday. Yes. One of the 14? It's about a, a, a guitar player named Milo. And at the end, there's a piano part, and she goes, is that Milo playing the piano? 
Maybe no, he he's a guitar player. Did you listen to the song? Oh. He had a lead. <laughs> How many songs had you played for her prior to that one, though? Oh, she had just walked in when oh, I started. Okay, okay. When I started uh, okay. listening to it, and I don't know whether to put that on my jazz album or not because it's a rock song. You should ask Jay for advice. Uh, he won't listen. I'll come down to four then and we'll uh, have a listening party. Yes, tell him there's hot Amish women <laughs> down there or something. Get him down there. <laughs> you just, you got to know how to entice him. Yeah, you're I mean, right. Easy, so <laughs> if you use the right tactics. <laughs> Well, um, too bad we didn't get any mail this week. We did. We did. We did. We did. Got a couple of letters, actually. Letters. We get letters. By the way, while I'm straightening out this letter, you need to watch the new Dave Chappelle stand up on uh, Netflix. Let me write something down, too. Funny, funny. Of course, I think he's brilliant. (laughs) I need you to check out something, too. He's a thinking comedian. Would you look up something for me? Yes. Ventriloquist. Her first name is Nina. Okay. Nina Ventriloquist. I don't know who this is, but we'll look her up. There she is. Nina Conti. Nina Conti. You must. Look her up. You know how every now and then, you know, you're impressed with talented people. Mm -hmm. But every now and then, somebody comes along who's so amazing, who is so above it all. Mm -hmm. I I think Nick Sibley is like that. I think Dave Chappelle's like that. Dave Chappelle may be like mm-hmm. that also. Mm-hmm. But Nina Conti, she's okay. a ventriloquist. Okay. But she's like... That's not a craft that I typically love, right. but... Right, but you will. She will blow you away. And she. some of the best ones are when she goes to a psychologist. The psychologist is worried that she and her little... Mm-hmm. Monkey. Uh, she's monkey. Little monkey. She's monkey. monkey. Are too... You know, you know like, when I got, like a mental sickness, I, got, I, got, I got thrown off the whole ventriloquist thing with the Oliver guy. Todd Oliver, he's a wonderful guy and he's a friend of mine. I'm okay. Oh, and I, I just think he should have maybe chosen a different path. I, he, well, the thing was, his he puppet, should have chosen a different voice for his dog. Yeah, it's the same of, voice. A, <laughs> he would say, "Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you?" I know. I know. Oh, we're good. Well. It, I mean, if you weren't looking at him, you wouldn't yeah. know yeah. what was going on. But wait till you see this Nina Conti. Okay. You've got to. I mean, I could have done what, you know, just saying. I am I know what you mean. But he did He he did bring the audience members up and put, like, you know, Nina that Conti so does that too. so funny. Okay, so, uh, yep. you know, uh, Lisa Rao told me what he got paid for being on the show about Branson Bell. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it. I forgot, but it was like, holy cow, you kidding me? For standing up there with something on his arm, doing the same voice back and forth? Uh, You don't appreciate ventriloquism at all. I do, but I think there should be a difference between the puppet's voice and the guy's voice. They re-upped him year after year. And Uh. he had like a mansion down in, uh, what is that, halfway to Springfield that's... I forgot, but I there's know, nothing but Saddlebrook? mansions. Saddlebrook, yeah. Wow. Okay, read your letter. All right, here we go. Dear Woody and Janet, I don't know if you guys do hypothetical relationship questions. Mm. If not, just answer me in private. Here we go. How do we... Okay. Email. Oh. Doing it out there on the air. Okay. Uh, what do each of you... What do each of you consider to be infidelity in a relationship? I think social media has changed everything, at least in how I think about it. I guess maybe a better question would be, what would you tolerate and what would you not? Mm. That's a <clears throat> deep question. It is, and there are, there are theological answers. There are philosophical answers. Oh, my. There <laughs> are. I, deeper. If you, wow. if you want the, the cleanest truth. Is would you tell your mother about what you're doing? If there's infidelity involved, there's a, there's another person involved, right? How mm-hmm. involved is that other person, and where is your heart, and where is your mm. concern for your family? Mm. Uh, but if you're like, let's say Bill Clinton, and you can't help yourself, or Jay Stevens, or Jay Stevens, <laughs> and you just, you know. <laughs> You know, I, I, and I admit, I'm boy, I'm, I'm attracted to good-looking women. Yeah. 
Thank God. But I would got you over act you, on it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> would you act on it? Would you basically? act on it? Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, the I thing. think everybody has thoughts, but you know. Well, um, where would you draw the line? Well, uh, I don't, I biblically think, speaking, you, it's in your heart. There are some women if you're who lusting think, after somebody in your heart. I think it's biblical that, that that's it's the cheating. same as mm. committing adultery. If you, I, I I talked to a girl who who's who thinks liking you know the thumbs up liking on Facebook of a of yeah another sex um, she thinks he's cheating. No, liking is not that's cheating. A little, uh, yeah, that's a little that's, overly jealous. I feel. That's a little that's yeah, that's insecurity. That's, insecu- that's insecurity. Uh, insecurity because insecurity. that just may very well be an idea that he likes or a joke that he thought was good. Or just I think she said spreading selfies. Positivity. Spreading positivity. Oh, you look what good. selfie? Yeah, you look good. Oh, if she puts a selfie on and, and he hits like. Now, if he hits heart. Oh, yeah, that does change. But you guys are talking Facebook, it's not reality. Yeah, that is true. That is All true. Right. I don't know. Anyway, that's my take. What do you think? I agree. I agree. What's what? What are they thinking in their heart? But how do you know that? That's the thing. How do you know what's in? Well, you know? it will it will manifest itself in some manner in the relationship. On a blue dress. No. I don't know. Well, I mean. I got it. Well, I got yeah. it. The people I have to deal with here. No, I'm saying. You got was, another letter? Uh, uh, yeah, this is a really short one. Dear Woody and Janet, do you find it difficult to hang out with people that have never had children? Uh, no, I don't think so. I do, kind of. I do. Well, kind there, of. I, there I, are I things they that. don't understand. Yes, and never could understand. You know what I mean? There's certain things but that they. I think as if you've you never older had a child you, that you, mature, you would not you, know. You start hanging out with more people who are like you. Now there are people like our dear friend Linda, who, as far as I know, never got married. Right. Right. And will never have a child, but is very, very good with children. Yes. And uh, I get along fine with her and would definitely hang out with her. Like well, a, she's kind of been my daughter's p- family for sure since she was born. She's her godmother. Well, she's, so. she's done. Yeah. Done. But I'm saying well like it, sometimes in a conversation, if, the, if your friend has not had children, it, it's kind of hard to explain. It, it changes you know. your world. Oh, and when your world yeah. changes, your, your, your playground changes. Oh, that's good. That was, deep. That that was, was deep. good. When your world what? changes, oh. your playground changes. Oh. Oh. That is, write that, <laughs> write that down. <laughs> okay, are we up on time already? We're good. We're, We're good. good. Okay, We're that's good. brought to you by. Brought to you by Cecil and no. Judy. Here oh. we go again. Our good friends, what? Tom and Pam, Tom and Pam. That's right. That's what I said. Yeah. You, what'd you say? I didn't even know what he said. Cecil. <laughs> I haven't not, heard that name in a long a lot time. Of gaslighting going on at the end of the episodes. Tom and Pam. The only Cecil I knew was in fourth grade, and he used to pick his nose all the time. Classic Cecil. Put his boogers underneath his desk. Save them for later. Mm. I wonder mm. if that desk is still in use. Jeez, I wouldn't sit behind him. Did you know they're starting to tr- t- uh, to teach critical race theory in the third grade? Really? They say that people as young as three years old are can get racist. I just think that's so stupid. And what is this? Have you heard okay, of DEI? You know what? You need to see. The, DEI is everywhere, and I don't even know what it is. DEI? It's all over the political spectrum. <laughs> the uh, diversity, equality, and inclusive. Right, this diversity, oh. something like that. You yeah. know what you need to see? You need to see the new Ricky Gervais. Yeah, he probably goes off. He on goes all that stuff. off on this. Whatever website you've been getting your news from, though, with Diggins and all this, I think you need to change channels once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think that people are going to Diggins. I could be wrong. It's going to be a uh, what is it? A, div- um, a sanctuary village. Some of them might be good musicians for your band. Oh, yeah. No? What's that? Nina Conti. Ventriloquist. Right, Nina Conti. You could More 
talented than you could ever imagine. Does her monkey sound different than Nina? It Otherwise, does, I'm monkey, not watching it. Her monkey is really? sometimes cruel to her and and very foul mouth when he's uh, talking right, to other nice, people. Nice. Does her monkey hit her? No, but the monkey w- will say he would if he could. Yeah, so they they don't like they don't get along. Well, they do. This sometimes. could be a psychological issue. There you go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Watch. watch Is he one. on her back? Watch. No, he's at the end you of. You know her what own. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Promise me you'll watch a I will. I will. Anita sure. Conte I love that kind of video. Stuff. I know you got to go. <laughs> I love comedy. Yeah, I'm not. Go I'm not going to promise. <laughs> what? I, oh, nothing. We're out of here. Thank you very much, everybody. Please visit uh, Kaleidoscope. It's a w- great, great store. I mean, it, I've never seen a store anything like it. It's so eclectic. Cute. It's amazing. You would have to go to like, I don't know where. There's no. I've never, you know. New not Orleans. Jan and I travel all New over Orleans. the country. Maybe. And it, well, yeah, but that's mostly like voodoo stuff Ooh, down there. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of weird. Anyway, uh, they're at the corner of Fremont and Sunshine. Yep, and uh, it's it's a it's a great store, especially if, if you're gift shopping, mm-hmm. or if you want to, uh, I don't know, get something kinky or groovy for yourself weekend i bought oh. my wife two gifts there oh and she loves them Whoa. one of them is a, <laughs> right. one a sweatshirt, uh-huh. sweatshirt with missouri birds all over it oh it's beautiful she bought that there no i did oh I gave it you could wear Christmas. that with your lulu u.s army well, stretch pants I'm a little larger than than she hmm. not anymore you're you're really thin actually i was going to ask you about that I was a little concerned. Go low. No, not really. Okay, we're out of here. All right. And what do you say? See ya. This has been Around the Ozarks Rewind with Woody and Janet. If you have questions or topics for the show, email Woody and Janet at AroundTheOzarks.com.